All right, hey guys, that's the bad team guy eight nine eight nine bringing you another video, guys. I hope you guys can enjoy this content, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, donate if you can, and uh, yeah, all of that good stuff, guys. Don't forget to act honorably, honestly, justly, responsibly, and legally, guys. Don't forget about the white hat agreement. You know what we're talking about. You've been following the channel. You know, you know what kind of things that we're doing here. Um, you know, you know my background in network engineer with cybersecurity specialization. These are some of the courses. If you watch my previous videos, you already hear me talk more about this this page here, about what's going on here. You'll understand more about what's going on here. Blue team, white hat. Uh, yeah, that's how I, that's what we like to do. We talk about network engineering and cybersecurity. Um, we talk, we've been talking about, um, you know, what's what's legal content, uh, what's the legal content uh, online, and what is you know the dark dark web. And you know, if you haven't seen those videos, just go back to my my YouTube channel and click the videos tab and. Um, let's see if I can display that to you. Um, there are some videos that I uploaded and it's coming in. I'll just come here to my my channel, you click the videos tab right here, and it's going to display all my videos, guys. And I have a lot of gaming videos that I put in the background because for down stressing, guys, because I know as an IT guy, if you're studying IT, or if you're just interested in IT, you know, as a game, and you just want to down stress for some games, and like afterwards, it's like, man, that was just like 10 hours, like 10 hours of hardcore studying, and uh, it was a lot, you know. I think someone described it as, uh, we're going to leave that, but anyhow, so, Here's some notes, guys. Remember these notes? If you don't, check the other videos. I'm going to put them on here, too. Law enforcement agencies will quickly arrest anyone who engages in posting or viewing illegal content online, even if you stumbled upon these websites without you knowing. I thought that was a good one to write down. I wrote, someone wrote that when we were doing our research. We found that. And, hey, this is why I want to be aware. And this, this page and, and this video is not intended as legal advice, it's just basic advice to give you basic information and you'll start point in discussion with your attorney guys. So there's a disclaimer. Um so the computer fraud and abuse act. We've been talking about it. That's what the entire last video was about. Check that video out too. Um I'm gonna move on from that um, a bit. I'll probably add on what can you what can what can people post online? I have video for that. This is talking about email spam. Can company organizations send me spam junk emails? A company can send you unsolicited commercial email, but the email must identify that the message is an advertisement. Include a valid physical address of the sender. Provide a way to easily opt out of future emails like an unsubscribe link. Once you opt out, they can't email you again unless you explicitly give them permission and not be deceptive or abusive. Okay. Question to Yes, a political or adversary organization is generally not subject to the rules of spamming. These messages are also generally protected by the First Amendment. What is email spoofing and is it legal? Email spoofing is sending emails to people from a forged email address in order to mislead the recipient and make it appear as the email is from someone else. This practice is generally illegal as a form of online wire fraud. Hey, there we go. We got some good information there. Jamming the Wi-Fi or so. Is it illegal to block or jam someone's Wi-Fi or cell service? 
Yes, it's illegal for any one person or company to jam, block, or interfere with another another's Wi-Fi or cell signal. Rights in your photos, video, and other kind of drug rights to the contact create and put on the internet or social media. You might see our guide of photos, videos, and other content online. Okay. Online shopping and consumer rights. What laws do I need to know on shopping online? Cyber squat and what is cyber squatting? What is type of squatting? Is it legal? What? That yeah, cyber squatting is a word. Are we making a video about cyber squatting? Right now. Comment if you want to know about cyber squatting. What? <laughs> Anyhow. Internet service providers this and that. Net neutrality. Can my internet service provider charge me different rates based on my websites that visit or slow down or block certain websites? Net neutrality. Wow, so the, I, the ISPs can now create pricing structures very similar to cable TV packages and make it much slower and much more difficult to access or even block certain websites and data. Right? So now they do have the power to. Yeah, that, was, that was an interesting um, So we're talking, we're just right here, U.S. cybersecurity laws exist at both federal and state levels and vary by commercial sectors. For instance, several, several federal statutes have data breach notice provisions for each state and four territories also have data breach laws. Many regulators expect regulated companies to have implemented reasonable security measures. Taking into account factors such as sensitivity of data protected in light of the pro profiliation of standards, many companies rely on obvious cybersecurity frameworks like the NIST cybersecurity framework. Uh, we'll get into NIST, um, talk about NIST. I actually have some NIST documents that we can take a look at and talk about. Um, yeah. These are some great topics, guys, to get into. And, and this is what I'm talking about. Well, this is very technical in detail, guys. You see all the the nouns that we have to deal with. You know? There's so many nouns, there's like so many subjects. Um, and each subject has a plethora of information. So this is something that's going to take time, guys. It's very interesting network engineering and cybersecurity. It's an entire degree program um, that I'm a part of. I'm very interested into it, and I would love to share it with you guys. Um, but I can't do it without your support. So don't forget to like, subscribe, donate, and share, guys, if you can. Really appreciate it. Wow, this person put a plethora of information in here. Go check this website out here, guys, if you're interested in definitely getting deep into learning about who, who's the FTC and who, who's the SEC and who's OCR. And OCR is kind of responsible for some HIPAA. Who's OCR? You know, we got to ask these questions, like, who is OCR? And again, preventing attacks, specific sectors, corporate governance, litigation, insurance.
investigate investigatory police powers. See what they gotta say about that. Probably a good uh, topic to talk about. It says law enforcement retains numerous powers to investigate incidents. In addition to standard warrant and subpoena powers, law enforcement may seek records stored by electronic communication services or remote computing services through a Stored Communications Act, intercept communications in transit through a wiretap act, or obtain dialing or routing information through a pen reg register statute. The Cloud Act that authorizes law enforcement to access a certain information held by the United States based service provider, even if the data is located in another country. For incidents involving national security or terrorism, law enforcement may have additional powers. Under the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, PISA, the government can obtain information, facilities, or technical assistance from a broad range of entities. National security letters often offer an additional mm -hmm. investigative tool for limited types of entities. Federal regulatory authorities such as the FTC, SEC, and LCR have powers to investigate incidents with their respective jurisdictions. State regulators may also investigate incidents to determine whether any state laws were violated. All right. Talking about backdoors, guys. You guys are probably like, what is a backdoor? What is that? Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really try to break this down. I know this is it's very technical. It's like, oh my gosh, so many words. It, it is. It's a lot. I hope we can break this down bit by bit. And, and, and um, all 50 state have computer terminals, and, and we can explain it in a way that that is not too overwhelming. And, you know, it can help you understand and take this information in and apply it to your life. Let's see what this has to say. National Conference of State Legislators, the NCLS, it's an org site. It's not a .gov site. You should probably hit .gov to see what the, the, the government is saying. Saying all 50 states have computer crime laws, most address unauthorized access or computer trespass, and we're, we're starting to get familiar with that term. Guys, we've got, we're starting to get to know to know that um, more. It's, it's basically I'm in a basic idea for us, and that's good. We want that's what we're here for to get those basic ideas, those basic interests. What we shouldn't do, you know, what we shouldn't view, what we shouldn't post. You know, no, that's what we're trying to accomplish here. We want to you know, help improve our cybersecurity. You know, we want to behave well. We want to act honorably, honestly, justly, responsibly, and legally. Like we want to, you know, do all of this. You know, this is what we want to do. Um, so let's let's see. If What's going on here? Yeah. All right. Computer trespass, unauthorized access. We understand that hacking and breaking computer systems with intentions to alter, disable, or modify existing settings. We understand that when a malicious in its nature, these break-ins may cause damage or disruption to a computer system or network. So we understand that. Laws addressing hacking, unauthorized access, computer trespass, viruses, and malware. We understand that. What, what does it violate, guys? The CFF, right? Right? Yeah, the CFAA. There we go. CFFA. The CFAA. So someone says, hey, I want to hack. In 
talking to my girlfriend's phone. You can be like, hey, bro, don't do that. That, that violates the, CFFA, the CFAA. And, um, yeah, man, like, that, that's, that's, that you're misbehaving. That's illegal. Law enforcement will put you in jail for that. Um, I report people who do things like that. So don't, don't do that. You know, you know, tell people like that. Let them know. I'm going to report you to a law enforcement agency and, and have them enforce the law because that's not right. Because don't do that. You know, that'd be some, some, some good advice for your friend. Uh, because you care about him, you know, not trying to give him legal advice. Like I said, this is not intended to legal advice. It's provided giving you basic information used as a starting point in the discussion with your attorney. That's that's it. It's uh, I'm not trying to say, I'm not trying to give you legal advice at all. We know what malware is, we know what viruses is. If you've been paying attention to other videos, we talked about it. You know, we didn't look at particular types of malware yet. We haven't looked at particular types of viruses yet. We haven't looked at particular type of worms. And that's getting more in depth, that's getting more technical, and, which I can do. I have a problem, guys. I do have a problem. I understand it. And, but I really take you to right here alone, guys. Let me see. If I take you through these folders up here, I, I don't want to highlight them, them just yet. But if I hover over these folders right up here, guys, well, oh, there's a plethora of information that we can talk about. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, as you got about cybersecurity. You know, but like I said, we're just trying to scratch the surface and, and hit some terms, hit, hit the vocabulary. And, talk about some basic concepts um right now before we we just die deep i'm talking about man this is a, this is a rabbit hole we're talking about this is a rabbit hole and if you're willing to go down the rabbit hole i'm already there you just gotta catch up and i hope to catch up and we, we can just continue to go down this rabbit hole together so um Oh, this is great. Look at this. Led by state. Right here. Let's see what this has to say. We brought two uh, Florida statues up. Computer related crimes. Compu computer abuse and data recovery act, guys. Yes. Let's let's stop the video here and let's let's talk about this because we just found this right now. I I know about this. I, I have this bookmarked already. It's important. No, I think I think that I think trying to use the excuse that you do not know the law. I'm not gonna. It's not an excuse. I think they're not gonna accept that answer. <laughs> Being ignorant of the law is. It's your own fault. Um, it's not anyone else's fault but your own. Um, I heard police officers say that, so be aware. Uh, be be aware. Okay. Um, I think that this is a good place to stop, guys. Um, We're gonna get into computer related crimes and computer abuse and data recovery act. Um, thank you for the NC uh, the NCSL and uh, thank you thank you about learning thank you thank you for all this great information that we're getting. Um, Microsoft, you know, Microsoft's helping um, being Google um, who else has been supportive, you know. Thank you thank you for all this public information that, that we're able to access. Um, that's a good thing about the internet guys. You don't have to we don't have to use it maliciously. We can learn how to use it, behave properly on it, and you know, protect our kids and our families and our friends as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, donate, and uh, 
Until next time, guys. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to join Chris and Dyson Wings. Let's down stress together, which is, I think is about to get down. About to be down stress time, guys. Because we've been at this for a while now. And I think it's time to start raving, guys. You know? Like, what's the rave? Check out the other videos, guys. Um, more more focus on Guild Wars. I'll give you, I'll give you a little sneak peek. Uh, let's go. The turn of Battlegrounds, guys. What is the raid? This is the raid. It's, a, it's an online battleground, guys. There, I'm gonna open up the map. There it is. Red, first blue, first green. There's three colors, guys. There's structures. There's siege equipment and more. That's a brief, very brief um, introduction. But yeah, come join me, guys. Come join Crystal Desert Win, CDW. Yep, join the Crystal Desert server, join Guild Wars. And uh, can't wait to see you guys. Till next time.